Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 8 Plus and see how this particular phone holds up in the middle part of 2024. Now, the big thing I will definitely tell you about this particular device is that in a lot of different ways, it still holds up very well, but in a majority of ways, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go and buy it, considering that it's already kind of done getting software support. And I would much rather you actually go ahead and buy a particular phone that's actually going to be giving you a much longer you know, lifespan or a much longer period of device in front of you rather than buying this thing. So if you want to buy some watches I would recommend, or if you want to buy some phones that I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now with the outside, not much has changed. You're still getting that 5.5 inch 1080p panel. It's a good looking device. You know, it's not ugly, but it's definitely an older styling for sure. So you're getting a device that definitely does look a little bit more dated. You're getting a device that in a lot of ways probably isn't the best looking thing anymore. And that's kind of what's happening when you're going through and buying a device like this. And it's not an ugly phone, but it definitely is an outdated device when it comes down to it. You're getting the front touch ID sensor, you're getting 60 hertz panel, so nothing else super crazy going on here. Lightning port at the bottom, curved side kind of thing going on with it too. On the back side, glass back, full on glass back, which looks very, very good. And I love having a phone like this because devices like these hold up very, very well in a lot of different ways. And definitely when it comes down to the whole entire, you know, body glass standpoint, this phone feels like a very expensive device, which is something I actually like a lot. If I'm going to go through and buy a phone, I definitely do like the fact that this thing holds up very well from that particular perspective. Now you, from the outside, dual camera setup, wireless charging, one of the first iPhones to bring wireless charging. So in a lot of different ways, I think it holds up well, but I will still tell you in other ways, it may not be the first one I'd recommend buying anymore because it is a little bit dated when it comes down to it. Now on top of that, from the software side, this is probably the one area where I look at this phone and I probably wouldn't recommend anyone to buy this one anymore is because it is kind of done getting software updates. It's still getting some like iOS 16 updates, but for the average person, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to go and buy this phone because it's already outdated. So I would hate for you to go ahead and buy a phone if it's already going to be gone or if it's going to be like outdated by the time you buy it. And that is kind of what's going on within this particular device. So the phone like this, I mean, it's a beautiful phone and it's still getting some iOS 16, you know, security updates, but those are security updates and those are not like full on, like full on updates that you'd be getting. So I think that's kind of an issue that you'd be kind of getting within this particular device. But I think beyond that, it's still a very good phone. And I think it's still a good phone for the history that it kind of brought inside of it. It is also giving you that Apple A11 Bionic chip inside of it with three gigabytes of RAM. With a phone like this, I'm going to definitely tell you, you are going to be getting a very, very good device in a lot of different ways. And I really do feel like within a phone like this, there's really not too much to kind of hate on it from a performance perspective. There's a few things I can tell you though. The RAM, it's not the most amount of RAM anymore. The chipset is outdated, but also like it's just going to be an outdated feeling phone too because there's no gesture-based design. You're going to have to constantly click that power button over and over again. That can be kind of a turnoff for a lot of people. So I'm gonna definitely tell you this, if you're going to go ahead and buy something like an iPhone 12, I will definitely tell you this, if you're going to buy something like an iPhone 8 Plus in the middle part of 2024, it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. You are much better off purchasing a device that is still even kind of somewhat supported with software. And this thing pretty much is going to be done getting software support by the time you buy it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit the subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.